It's a funny looking spiky object. It's sent to me by Nando Bokor, who I've known for years, both at Budapest University. It's a spinning top, would you believe? He said, have a go with it. We'll spin like this first of all. And this, he says, has got the largest area, so it's got the largest moment of inertia. When it's spinning like that or like that, it's happiest. It's going to spin for a nice long time and nice and cleanly and go on until it falls over. Now, if we go to the other end, this has got the least uh, area, so it's got the least moment of inertia. When you spin like this, it's, it spins a bit of time, but it rather readily falls over. It doesn't seem to like it so much. We'll do it again. And it spins for a certain amount of time, and then it falls over. It definitely spins for longer on this largest area, largest moment of inertia. Now there's a middle axis, an intermediate axis, between those extremes, not the largest, not the smallest, but the middle, and that's something more unexpected happens when we do this. Look at that. It suddenly decided it didn't want to spin around this intermediate axis, it wants to go to the stable one, so it flipped. As it fell, it flipped like that and ended up on that. Perhaps it was just a freak, oh, we'll see if we do it again. No, it's done it again. Oh my goodness me. So every time we spin it on the one that's an intermediate axis, it flips. And it's now spinning on the most stable axis, and it can do that every time. Bizarre, isn't it? So we thought this is something that could be perhaps better decorated. And when one of the thoughts we had was put in little um, dots to make it clear that it is flipping, like this one here we prepare, which will give you, uh, will it'll go in the shop, and it'll be ones with little dots and decals you can add, in, and which will emphasise that it's definitely done a flip. And we'll do this one here to make it work. So this is a stable position makes a nice orange halo, and we'll do the other side, makes a nice green halo. But now we'll go to the intermediate axis and see if you can definitely see it flips. It flips very clearly because suddenly it's a pure green, and we'll do the other one on the other side. I think it'll do this probably the same effect. Yes, it's coming up to the same effect. So we've got, yep, it's flipping, either that or that. An extraordinary thing. And yet this other one here just is the intermediate one and it just gently falls over. But the interesting one is the highest moment of inertia and the intermediate one. Because the intermediary is very uncertain of where it should be and it flips over to the most stable. It's an amazing effect. So now I want to talk about something else which is even more remarkable about this. And that is what happens when you lift it up in the air like this, spin it with both fingers and let it drop to the ground. What happens? You will find that when you spin it in the air it will just, on this axis here, it will just drop straight to the ground, and on the other, fairly stable one, the most stable, it will do the same. However, when you spin it on the red axis, something quite extraordinary happens. If I spin it hard, it flips over almost immediately, so it's spinning 180 degrees, and almost immediately flip back 180 degrees, and again, as it's falling down, perhaps four or five times it reverses, its direction and yet the spin is maintained in the same direction but it's just it's actually turning 180 degrees before it hits the ground. <laughs>